Hello there. I'm talking to you from the mirror. Um, mostly just because I think it's really adorable that um, how Fran of Fran Nerd, um channel does her studio vlogs a lot of the time, or a lot of her videos. Um, she talks into this cute little mirror. And I think it's just because her camera doesn't have a back facing display, um, but it's just really cute. Um, so I'm copying her. And if you don't watch that channel, you need to go check it out immediately. Link in the description because she's an amazing illustrator and just a really great vlogger and seems like an adorable person. So I'm copying her today um, in the spirit of creativity. Welcome to my sewing room and office sort of sort of space. I kind of work all over the house really, but this is my sewing room slash office that I have in the basement of my family's place. I actually do live with my family. So if some of you have um, asked that, I asked for questions for a QA and a on my last video. And some of the, one of the more common ones has been so far, um, like what do you do for a living and like how do you exist like what what do you what do you do for a living is an interesting question because it's like how do you how do you uh afford to live i guess is kind of the the implication of the question and the answer is simple but not very glamorous and that is that i live with my family still even though i'm going to be 27 tomorrow um and i only work part-time right now because i am working on side projects and creative endeavors and trying to make it, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. And actually this little vlog series that I want to um, start doing, this is to be, this being the first installment and therefore bear with me, um, is going to be called side hustling or side hustling, which is the apparently Dutch uh, origin of this phrase, um, where I kind of vlog a little bit more about the process of trying to, you know, get a side hustle going, get some, get a creative Thing to take off, whether that be eventually making sewing patterns, which I would really love to do. Um, I use my own patterns to make most of my vintage inspired clothing, and I would love to get those patterns graded or learn to grade them myself and eventually start selling those patterns um, or teaching pattern drafting in a more <laughs> monetizable way, um, just because it's one of the skills I have. And when you've only got so many skills, you got to learn how to, how to live off of them, right? Um, and then also I have been writing novels for the past couple of years, um, or working on fiction writing for the last couple of years. And I finished my first complete novel that I'm very confident about this year. And I'm going to try and work through the publishing process with that. And so this will be a little bit of a diary of that process as well. Um, but yeah, I don't have a full time hustle, but I do have lots of little side hustles. So this is going to be a series more about that. Um, so here is the first installment of that basically.
So this is where I write. This is where I write most of the time, I should say. I'll, I'll write from bed as well, of course, but this is my sort of workstation for writing, for doing working on fiction. And uh, just me and my laptop here. I usually, uh, I've got the lights on for you, but usually I sit down here in the dark, like a total creeper, um, in, in the dark basement, just writing by myself in my own little world. I've got some earbuds here, headphones that I just put on some rain ambiance music or rain sound effects. And I sit here and I could write for hours, and I have. Um, when I wrote the first draft of uh, this book that I've been working on this year, earlier this year, I spent about two months. Any day I wasn't, I have a part-time job. Anytime I wasn't at work, I was here uh, in this chair at this table writing. Um, and that's how I wrote a really too long book, um, 140,000 word book in two months is because it's all I did. And so now I have more ideas that I would like to work on, but I know if I give in to that sort of fervor that comes over my brain, that I won't get anything else done. And it'll just be another one of those times like earlier this year where I just like lost two months of time basically to writing. And I just don't know if I can afford to do that or want to do that, even though I know how amazing it felt the first time. Uh, so yeah, and of course the fear is there that what if I'm actually not a very good writer at all and what if no one ever, you know, wants to sign me or wants to buy my work or publish my work and then I'm just wasting this time um, when I could have been working on something else and would have been happy as well to be working on something else, but because I like doing the other things I do, I like sewing and um, studying vintage fashion and talking about it on my blog and all that stuff. It's my other, my other passion, but this writing sometimes just takes over more. It's more insistent, I guess, than any of the other things I do. So I end up sitting here quite often, um, thinking, oh, I'll just edit one chapter and then I'll get my other work done. And then I end up sitting here all night and getting 1800 words written instead. Um, so yeah, writing is weird, and I guess I'll just hope that someone else wants to read it one day. I really hope other people enjoy reading it one day, but I have just no guarantee of that. So, <laughs> but that's a little bit about my writing process, I guess. It sounds so pretentious, writing process. I mean, I can't do anything about that, really. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Um, I hope you enjoy this peek into my my work in my life, really. And now I better go turn the air conditioner back on before my family disowns me for having turned it off to talk to you guys. Bye.